chip addict. The hard thing about being on the Rachel's Tea program is not having your nachos and your dips and things like that, um, and also for tacos. So I'm gonna show you how I make what I think is actually better than real chips. So I make these and the whole family wants these. They want nothing to do with the real chips anymore when it comes to nachos. Now you can still do regular chips, of course, with like your guac and pico, but this is like when you want some meaty protein nachos. And here's what we do. Again, this is not like a crazy healthy recipe, but it's delicious, so I'm trying to help you out. Okay. So, any kind of like Mexican blend cheese, you can use Colby Jack, it doesn't matter. You could even do it with cheddar. Um, I just, this is my favorite, so this is how I do it. So we just take a tiny, tiny bit of cheese, and we're gonna spread it out on a cookie sheet, on parchment paper, that part's very important. If it sticks on the cookie sheet, it will ruin your life. Just kidding, it'll just ruin your cookie sheet. But. This makes it really easy. Okay, so you want it to be kind of a nice thin layer. Easy peasy. I do it a whole sheet at a time, and then while it's cooling, we're gonna cut it. But so you can see, you can still see through it in some places. That is okay, will not hurt anything. So I cook it on, you can broil it or you can cook it low. But we're gonna get this nice and dark golden and bubbly. That's what we're looking for. So just keep an eye on it. There's not an exact time because it depends on your oven, the, the cheese. I hate to give you like an exact time and then you burn the crap out of it. So golden and bubbly, I'm gonna show you what that looks like in a second. It's not done yet, but it's about halfway. 